Good morning. So it's almost the eighth day of the lockdown and many of us are living in these pressure cooker conditions with lots of people around us. Um, many of us may be a little irritated that we are not getting our personal space. And what happens usually when we are irritated is something that all of us know, even me. So uh, this is a beautiful story, a story of uh, a father and a son. The son is just seven years old. He's a little boy and he has a massive temper. He's a really bad temper, a terrible temper. So the, the father tries an experiment with the son. He takes him to a fence. The houses have fences. Aise jo diware hoti hain, jo picket fences kehte hain. I'm not sure what it's called in Hindi. But uh, the father takes him to a fence and gives him a sack of uh, nails, a small bag uh, of nails and a hammer. And he gives him a hand and a keel. Itna ek gutcha de dete hain papa usko. And uh, papa kehte hain ke acha, jab bhi tumhe gutsa aayega, to kuch mat karna, bas jaake ek keel thok dena is, uh, ek keel maar dena is fence pe. So bachcha sochta hai, acha, ye kya ajeeb request hai papa ka. Phir bhi, ho kehta hai, okay papa, mai kar dunga. And every day he goes and, 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 and does exactly that. Whenever he gets angry, he goes ahead and he starts uh, hammering one nail into the wall. He's surprised that in the first week itself, he has hammered 150 nails. And uh, keel marna ek divar pe, ek fence pe, kafi mushkil kaam hai ek saath saal ke bachche ke liye. Pehle to kafi maza a raha tha usko, lekin... मुश्किल बढ़ती जा रही थी कि भाई इतनी मुश्किल इतना मुश्किल काम है जब भी नाराज होता हूं मुझे जाके एक हील मारना पड़ता है तो उसकी वजह से बच्चा अपना जो ये जो गुस्सा है वो कंट्रोल करने लगा ही स्टार्टेड कंट्रोलिंग हिज एंगर फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम एंड ही वाज डिलाइटेड व्हेन द नंबर ऑफ नेल्स दैट ही हैड टू एक्चुअली ड्रिल इनटू द वॉल और हैमर इनटू द वॉल स्टार्टेड ड्विंडलिंग दे स्टार्टेड कमिंग डाउन सो कम होते गए जो भी कील मारने थे फेंस में काफ़ी कम होते गए फाइनली एक दिन ऐसा आया जब बच्चे नो बच्चे ने एक भी कील नहीं मारा फेंस पे तो बड़ा खुश हो गया बच्चा ही वॉज एक्सट्रीमली एक्साइटेड एंड ही वेंट रनिंग टू हिज फादर हिज फादर वॉज अ कारपेंटर वेंट रनिंग टू हिम एंड सेट पापा देखो एक भी कील नहीं मारा आज मेरे दीवार में आप खुश हो मेरे लिए पापा ने कहा वाह बेटा वाह That is wonderful news. You've given me such wonderful news, and I've been waiting for that day. And बच्चे को लेके गए और बहुत सारा ice cream खिलाया उस दिन. बच्चा बड़ा खुश हो गया. And तब पापा ने कहा कि अब तुम्हारे लिए और एक काम है. जिस जिस दिन तुम्हें लगता है कि तुम्हें बिल्कुल गुस्सा नहीं आया, उस दिन तुम दीवार से पांच कील निकाल दोगे. You will. Remove five nails from the fence on any day that you think you have not lost your temper. So now the child says, okay, and now the game continues. And he continued doing that. He kept removing the five nails from the fence every day that he was not getting angry. So finally, there was a fence that was absolutely devoid of nails, no nails on the fence. And that day, the father and the son went and stood in front of the fence. And the father said, what do you see, son? Tumhye kya dikta hai? The son said, I see holes. I see lots and lots of holes in the fence. Mujhe diwar pe bohut saare chhed dikte hai, sirf chhed. And then the father said, so for every time that you lost your temper and used some words or said something to people, that left a wound. These holes are symbolic of the wound that you have actually left on the person that you were speaking to when you're in a temper. The hurtful words that you have said can never be changed. You can keep apologizing throughout your life, but you won't be able to change the fact that you actually used the words in the first place. You know, at the, at the uh, I need to confess, I do that too. I used to do that much more. But now, I have decreased that periodicity. I have tried. Of course, all of us are human. We may still burst out once in a while, maybe once in a blue moon. 
But then that doesn't mean that we've not used any hurtful words, that we have made it all better for the person after we have apologized. Because that hole stays. The scar stays. We may mend it with a lot of love and affection, but the scar that we have actually left continues staying there, right there. So what are the steps that I take? I can, I can only talk about myself. The steps that I take now when I get really angry is I just don't say anything for some time. I express to the person that I'm getting a little upset by this. I'm angry by this. And I walk away from the situation. So the first step that I, I, I follow now is I walk away from the situation, give it some time. When I'm in a better perspective and I'm actually thinking, I'm able to think about the pros and cons, what I may have thought, what the other person may have thought, I come back and say, okay, now I'm, I'm ready to discuss this. So that's what I do. It works really well for me because at least I have not said anything hurtful to the other person. And I'm happy that uh, my family members, my friends and colleagues who actually know me for a very long time find that that may be beneficial for them and they have started using it too. So the next time that you're in a really angry mood, you're getting into that temper of yours, you know your symptoms, your nose may become red, um, you may feel okay now is when I'm going to say everything I want to say. Just hold your horses, just say okay, 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 hang on, hold it and say okay. Let me just deep breathe or walk away from the situation. Tell the person I'm not in the right mood right now. Can I just come back to you in five minutes and walk away from the situation without causing hurt? So that worked for me, my friends. I hope that works for you. And if you think that you have any other coping mechanism, any other mechanism that helps you overcome a temper, overcome any anger, especially during the lockdown, because we're in a closed environment, tempers are bound to fly. But we also know the reason for these tempers. So let's try and understand that and overcome the situation successfully. So if you find that you have your own coping mechanism, please write to me. I'll be more than happy to discuss this with you because I may learn from you as well. So please subscribe, like, share, make me a little famous, if not very famous. Let's go viral with this, okay? And let's hold those horses, all right? Have a wonderful, wonderful day ahead. Long live. Bye-bye.